you can go down to the docking compartment. Except that was an oil arm suit, which is their spacesuit. Um, similar to ours, same kind of function, just a little bit different design. This is going up into the MRM. These things sticking out are the um, docking mechanisms and the Russian hatches. So Steve was filming as he went this way, and he missed his turn. If you've ever done that on the highway.
Mountains and sunsets just happen constantly. Anyway, after we get the uh, blanket off, Nick is going to go around and unbolt the window shades, and finally we'll be able to actually open up the, uh, the windows to the cupola. depress it, take all the air out of the cupola, and then uh, here we are in the evening after we att reattached it to a different hatch, and now we're having to open up the hatch and put air back inside of it. So uh, one of the fun things, like I said before, about working in those three is that you can work in any attitude, any direction you want can be up, and uh, you can have a bunch of people in a small space where in, in, on the ground in a trainer it would be really uncomfortable and hard to get to. You can just float and spin your body and get in the position that you need to get in. That's Steve Robinson and uh, Jeff Williams, the space station commander, working down there. Although it seems like really cramped quarters for a mechanic, this is a, it's kind of a dream environment because you can get in any attitude at all and get all upside down and get your head down underneath the panels and, and work away uh, very comfortably. Um, you've, got, you've got light and there's airflow and uh, your neck never gets sore and you never drop your tools down your down on your chest and grease doesn't drip on you. And it, it, this is a really nice working environment. is a pressure equalization valve. Uh, all the hatches have those on, uh, that it allows you to make the pressure the same on both sides of the hatch. So Steve was demonstrating how it does not fit, and now he's demonstrating how it does fit. We've been doing a lot of valve change outs and uh, work on valves. That's TJ, one of our station crewmates that's uh, floating on into node three, and uh, he's been helping us tremendously uh, getting through these uh, reconfigurations of Node 3. He knows where all the tools are. He knows uh, uh, how they all work, so he's, he's a great help. And uh, that's Terry there, and he's trying to work on a rack. He's, he's trying to do some rack outfitting so it can be uh, rotated easily and conveniently uh, in its orbit configuration. Rotating racks, essentially, that's the way we get to the back of them. We don't pull them out. We just uh, kind of put a hinge on them and pull one end of them down and then kind of slide them out. That's how we get to them. And, uh, the racks are launched with uh, uh, some pretty beefy structure that we don't need once we get on orbit. So part of the rack outfitting is pulling that out and putting in some convenience items so we can work on them. So here's Bob and Nick, uh, not in their usual EVA role, but they're in a robotics role. And here Bob is going to grapple TMA-3, uh, one of our last robotics tasks. It's going to be, we're going to do this tomorrow, actually, is to move TMA-3 from the top of node two and put it on the end of node three. So we're gonna, if it was a hat, we were gonna take it off and put it on our left shoulder. And that uh, will be the, the final configuration of, uh, of CMA three. Now that's a, a view of what Bob and Nick are, are keeping track of. Uh, and that's one that shows why the cupola is gonna be so nice. They've got this mosaic of views and in their heads, they gotta stitch together all these views and decide what the arm is doing and if they've got safe clearance. Uh, uh, not only with the end part of it, but uh, where the joints are and where they're going. And you can see their, their heads are on a swivel. They're constantly moving left to right and working together to make sure this is all done safely. So there's Kay uh, doing some rack outfitting as well. Kay's got her Navy hat on. And uh, who do we have? I think Jeff Williams in the background and Terry in the foreground here. So we've been busy bees inside Node 3. Uh, doing all kinds of different procedures to get things ready. There's a, I was taking this upside down, so uh, I, I hope that got it right. Looks like a pretty decent view of Jeff looking down into the cupola, and he's asking a question of Houston to find out about something, which you hopefully we'll see. Uh, uh, there's a, a view looking down into the cupola of 